Yeah, let's see here. We're waiting for us to uh, uh, go on Facebook. And here we are. Okay, we're live on Facebook and we're recording the show and everything's cool. And uh, there are already people waiting to come on with us. This is our four o'clock Monday pop-up show. That's what we call it. And we got uh, at least uh, three people so far. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, uh, Edward Berger. Hello, Edward. How are you? Good, good, good. Fine day with your cartoon voice. Uh -huh. <laughs> a new Facebook friend, Edward. That's, oh, yeah, that's right. I, I friended you. Yeah. 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 So, we're all becoming great pals. Hello, Andrew <laughs> Deutsch of Fangled Tech. Oh, I gotta, I'm changing out my, I just came out of a meeting, sorry. You can, you can leave it up if you want to. You, yeah, you don't I'll, mind do my, I'll do my I'll do my curtains. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Here, here, check check out who's hanging out at my logo. Oops, oh, there we go. You're going away. Yeah. What kind of a what kind of a, a, a program are you using for all of that? Ask him. Hmm. <laughs> Ask who? Ask Hank. He'll tell well, you. Ask Hank. There he is. Did you see Hank? Okay. All right. Yeah. Trying to make me look like a piker with my technology. Let's see. What else you got? Go on. Oh, you want more? Yeah. Yeah. Give us. Give us everything you got. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Wait. Ah, there's more. Uh -oh. yeah. What do you What are you using to do that with? What program? Well, I needed. I was doing a a, a presentation for for a client, mm -hmm. and I needed I needed the ability to shrink down mm -hmm. and then put up a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. So you can't do that in Zoom without without creating what's called a. Oh, there you go. Now I'm in hell. Um. You you can't do it without doing a um. There's Batman without creating what's called a virtual camera. Yeah. So Zoom actually normally sees your camera and then puts a background behind you. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it puts a program in between. So what's happening on the screen of this program creates a virtual camera and it goes to Zoom as if it's a camera. So uh -huh. it's like a production studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it, but it, it, um, I'm I, the only one here. What? What do you mean you're the only one? I don't see anyone else. Oh, well, that's because ah, there we go. Now there, you go. there you go. There you go. Here's my. Here comes Marjorie. What? Hello, hello, Shecky. Hello, Alex. How are you? Hello. Well, I've ruined three hours of your life with Rudy Kazuti coming up. Well, I I zipped through it because I wanted to see the commercials and the station breaks. Yeah. Um, he sent me a thing of uh, Rudy. Well, I knew him as Rudy Kazuti. Well, that's what I've known him as, is Rudy Kazuti. So, so apparently in the very beginning, he was Rudy Tootie. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in early television. That sounds kind of obscene, Rudy Tootie. <laughs> <laughs> Something just obscene about it. <laughs> but. Well, I think in Meet Me in St. Louis, at one point, Margaret O'Brien uses that phrase. Rudy Tootie? <laughs> Yeah, Rudy Tootie. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, he sent me this old kinescope of... Uh, of uh, Thanksgiving special. This three-hour special on WNBT. You ever heard of that radio station? Television station, rather? No, they were WRCA on radio. Were they WRCA on radio? I, they were never NBC? And then it became NBC. They weren't NBT. Yeah, NBC became, became, probably meant television. It became, yeah, w, WNBC. it became WNBC, but then on radio you say they were WRCA? Yes. Really? Until around 57 or so. Really? That's amazing. Because in San Francisco, uh, it was, what was it? It was, it was a, a, a K, KPL. Yeah. In San Francisco. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, AFO? It was KPO. And that, there was the blue and the red networks. And KPO right, and the red, was, 
the blue network became ABC or the red net. One right. of the two became right. ABC. Right, when they had to kind of split up and stuff like that. But the thing was that in San Francisco, one was KPO and the other one was KGO. Uh-huh. And uh, the I think the NBC station was KPO. And and I don't remember which was red and which was blue. I wasn't around then. What am I saying? I wasn't even alive. You were around then. You were around. Was I really? Yeah. Well, we had, we, you know, we had this big uh, building in San Francisco, which was called Radio City San Francisco. Yeah, you took me there once. Oh, yeah, a yeah, beautiful building. Just a great building. But anyway, I worked in it for a short time when uh, it was taken over by Channel 44. Oh, is that where what is what's his name ended up? The what, one with the dog. What with the dog? Oh, is that Channel Twenty? Remember the guy who oh, had the. Oh no, yeah, channel. channel Twenty. That was Jim Gabbard. Twenty. Jim Gabbard was. Gabbard, a, yeah. Yeah, was a, interesting guy. Interesting guy, and I worked for him for a short time as a Captain UHF uh, with my <laughs> helmet with an antenna on it. And uh, that was a Saturday night uh, sci-fi movies. Is that what that represented? The sci-fi? What? The helmet. Oh, the helmet. Yeah, I had the helmet and I had a jumpsuit and the whole thing. Was it a tin hat? Huh? <laughs> and I, what I did was things like I had a, 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 hand puppet, a, hand puppet that always, a hand, rabbit hand puppet that would always attack me. Things Do you like remember that. using uh, aluminum foil on the rabbit's ears on top of your television? Yeah. He no. didn't do that on my helmet. I had more dignity than that. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't nicknamed Elvira Bennett, were you? <laughs> let, me, let me ask you, anybody know, did, those, did the aluminum on the rabbit ears help? Yes, yeah. it did. Yeah, it did. It did. That moved them. It did. It, it did. Actually did help. Okay. We, my rabbit we had, we had, when I first got TV, when I got, it, this is, come on, this is going back 80. What, but how you many, don't have to give the exact. <laughs> going back about oh, 72 no. years. When we got our first TV set in Marin County, which was a traveler. You ever heard of traveling? No. Anyway, uh, it was a traveler TV set and they came and they installed it. And then they had to put up an antenna. And we lived in Marin roof. County, which was a bit away from oh. San Francisco. So we had a 20-foot antenna. Wow. Do you, do you Just... know how that looks on top of a house? <laughs> <laughs> bigger than the house. Huh? It's bigger than the house. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's funny, Alex. I just, two years ago, I put one on my house here to cut the cable. Yeah. And, and I, I get better reception in all the channels, and I pay nothing. I oh, get 40, really? 46 channels off of my aerial antenna. And then the cable stuff I stream off of a thing for. But the, for, but your aerial is different than those were. You didn't put it on top of your house, did you? That's where it is, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I attached, I attached it to the chimney and it stands up about 12 feet above on a two story house. Yeah. It goes another 12 feet up and points towards where all the antennas, all the repeaters are. And uh, I get better reception and it doesn't cost me a dime. And then I stream just a couple of channels on cable I want to watch. Wow. I went That's from 100 great. and 130, 140 bucks a month to $35 a month. Well, we've been looking for a way to cut the cable. Oh, this is a way. You, you know, yeah, because uh, um, Fios in their greed has now got me up to about uh, 200 and... Uh, 230. 200, I was $275 a month. It's ridiculous. Remember, I've got more TV sets. I've got more boxes than you do. Checking. Yeah, but I'm paying, you know, for internet and the phone. Yeah, and, the one you know, phone that yeah. you get with it. <laughs> and why is it? You know, you always they always want it, they always give you this goddamn phone. Who oh, needs right. the goddamn phone? <laughs> because in the case of emergencies, when the other phones aren't working, this gave you a base. It was a. It wasn't. Yeah, but if you're really, is that, is that the the plug -in. point? I called I called FiOS recently to get rid of my phone because I'm on this stupid three thing service as well. Yeah, and they said if I got rid of the phone, my rates would go up. Yeah, it costs <laughs> more without the phone. It costs more. You have not to have the goddamn phone. phone. Uh, but but it just kept going up. It started out at about two thirty six, and I, I and I was paying three thirty five or something to spec. So it sounded like a good deal. Alex, what? did you get a notice that they were increasing? 
Well, they, what happens is they give you all these bonuses and specials when you first sign on for about a yeah. year or two, and then they start adding the stuff back in. Uh, and finally, one day you notice you've got a whooping bill. So what I, I'm, I'm just thinking about cutting the cord and I'm, going with these things that, you know. I'm going to get rid of it as soon as this contract yeah. ends. All you need is my I've, I've got the, the, the $79 a month service for uh, the uh, internet. I'm That's all you need. That. That's all you need. You I'm going to keep that because it's really super powerful. And then you get, you subscribe to like, I don't know, there are a couple of services that will, like Hulu will give you yeah. most of the over the air channels you're getting and the. Uh, and Hulu just raised their prices again. Did they raise their yeah, prices? Because everybody's changing Hulu. So. Right. There's a free service like Lowcast, which gives you, you know, every regular channel, yeah. like 100 channels just with Wi Fi. Yeah. But That's then right. also you want to get, you know, there's certain things you want to get. But I mean, I can subscribe to HBO. I can subscribe to uh, Showtime. I can subscribe. You know, I can get them all separately, and I added them all up, and it's it, you're saving a lot of money. I do. Yeah. If you can get an antenna that that picks up the local channels that you want, mm -hmm. Amazon has a device called a Recast. Right. What it does, it plugs into your antenna, and then every Fire Stick in your house can access it. So it and it's a DVR. Wait a minute, but I don't have Fire Stick. Well, Roku. <laughs> There's a Roku app for it. Also. Hulu, Hulu Plus, which gives you local TV stations plus a lot of the various channels and stuff you get on cable, about, about 50 of them. Uh, you also get a DVR service with that. Mm -hmm. where you can actually record the programs or set them to record just like you would with a DVR. That's, that's what I do with the recast. But then you, you can get, get the app for a Roku or other devices. Yeah. I have YouTube TV. It's got that, too. YouTube TV? Yeah. Yeah, how much do you pay a month for that? It's seventy dollars a month now. Mm -hmm. It started out thirty-five and it kept going up. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, and then, no, then you get auto pay and you don't realize that until three years later and you're paying two hundred dollars like Alex did on his his storage exactly. unit. But that's I, I don't pay. Yeah. I've, got a, I've got a DVR and I get all of those channels at no cost once you buy the device. Yeah, and and it gives you the guide and and all of that stuff, and I can I can access my television from my phone if I want to watch, yeah. or a, or another computer, but then if you want the cable channels, you can go to Philo or Sling, and get it for twenty bucks a month. To get Sling's your going out of business now. Sling is going out of business, but there are a lot of those yeah, that will give you those things. But I mean, uh, you know, to get what I'm getting, I'm already paying. You know, I mean, if I if I hit the HBO Max and then I eh, add it all together, and you're saving a hell of a lot of money, and they take all these damn boxes back, you know, and um, I will I have the whole house, every set can get uh, uh, the Wi-Fi, so you know, I, I'm just thinking about it. I probably never do it because I'm too lazy. I leave it to you. It's all yours. Yeah, but then you're going to complain because if you well, don't get all your little stations at, at the exact time you want those little stations, oh, this is too difficult to go over here and do it. I don't want to, I don't like when I just could switch channels. Right. Okay. Have to make it user friendly. We have five cable boxes in this house. <laughs> That's well, because why. we've got, it's that big, ask Shecky, it's that big a place. We got a guest room, we got a bedroom, we got a, uh, oh. a, a living room. We got a oh. kitchen. That we got one in. Uh, oh, the cool, the cool thing that. about the the little remote ones, mm -hmm. those little Wi-Fi remote ones. You know, if you have one box and then you that remotes to the other TV, so you have wireless. Yeah. Right. I have that, and then I can unplug it because it it's just HDMI, and I could plug that into my my movie projector outside on the summers, and we could watch movies through that because they'll just you know whatever it plugs into the HDMI, so I plug that into the movie projector and we watch movies outside. Oh, that's great. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You've got a Google Play, a Fire Stick, a Roku at all your TVs. You can broadcast from one box to your whole house. Well, I have a Roku and on, every, on two of my sets, at least, I have a Roku and a, um, uh, an Apple TV. The reason I, 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 I'm glad I have the Apple TV. I got it just to see, you know, be able to have it, okay? Uh, but I got the Apple TV, and what it turned out with the Apple TV is, is that 
it's the one that gives me HBO Max because Roku won't do it. The Fire Stick does now. Yeah, as of this week. But you can sideload it because a Roku is nothing more than an Android device. Yeah. You can, you can sideload HBO Max onto a Roku. How? You, and I'll send you a link. There's a video. Really? I don't, well, it, it, it'd be a little boring for this pop-up for me to tell you all this. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and I'm the one that doesn't know what they're talking about. Yeah, I mean, I have, I've had HBO Max on my uh, Fire Sticks since the day it came out and you can't get it on a fire stick. You sideload it. Oh, really? You turn, off, you turn off, basically you turn off the protection that says it'll only take Roku and then you use a downloader to download it as an Android mm -hmm. uh, application. Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. not complicated. Well, I'll see because what I, what I did have, I, I'm initially I bought, um, I, I tried getting, um, what was it? I took it for one month. Was a HBO uh, Max and not HBO Max, no. but HBO just no. the other one, not the now. now. HBO now. HBO now. Yeah. Because then, when HBO Max was going to come on, it was automatically going to be changed to HBO Max. But then, at that point, um, uh, Roku decided to start preventing you from getting it. Yeah. Same with you know. In the beginning, they were happy to give you everything because they wanted you to buy a Roku. And now that they've got how many millions of people out there, they have the number one of those boxes out there. Uh, because they're doing so well, they're not playing hardball with people like, Ro like HBO. Yeah. It's HBO. They want a percentage it's of It's HBO business. causing the problem, not Roku. HBO, HBO? wanted Roku to pay. HBO what? HBO wasn't going to give Roku a deal that made it worth their while if they didn't want to pay more. Yeah, but they would have made that deal a few years back. Yeah. What, yeah, what I'm saying is they're playing hardball because of their position and things. Let's but they will make a deal in the next few weeks. Just wait. I Other don't, Amazon, I don't know about that. I've been waiting for it, and it just doesn't fire, happen. Yeah, but once Amp Fire Stick made a deal, Roku will follow in lockstep. Mm -hmm. Here's somebody, 1262. 1262. <laughs> Are we going to, is this going to be a real person or is this going to, hello, are you there? It'll be Albert. <laughs> no, I don't know. Who is it? No. You scared him off. Gone. No, he's <laughs> gone. <clears throat> oh, it must be Tony. But anyway, <laughs> I'm saying that. You know, and I think them not giving, allowing people to have HBO Max is, a, is to me a big deal because HBO Max is really, really good. It is. In fact, they're doing something. Did you see this, Shanky? December what? 25th, what hits the theaters? What big blockbuster hits the theaters? Wonder Woman? Yep. The 25th. Who is going to go to movie theaters? For free, at no extra charge on HBO what Max. What the theaters are doing? The Wonder Woman movie. People are not going to go. What? They could, they'd rather spend the money and they could watch it at home. No, what I'm saying no, is... No, it's going to be at home. It's going to be at, on HBO Max. If you subscribe to HBO Max, you're going to get Wonder Woman, the new Wonder Woman movie, for free. That right. I want to see. Huh? I want to see that. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, that's some of the stuff they're doing to get people to, to mm. watch HBO Max. So you can either go to the theater and get COVID and pay $50 <laughs> for, the, uh, for the privilege, or you can watch it on HBO Max. What would you rather do? Yeah, yeah. Talk but, me but all the people. Have I'm a good COVID. Republican. I want to get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I got five people at home. That's well worth it. <laughs> yeah. And and and, uh, and Costco popcorn. I'm good. Yeah, I mean, do you, do you have HBO Max at all, Brian? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, so if you have HBO Max, you're good to go. You know. Yeah. Um, and a but, lot of a lot of the cable systems are now carrying HBO Max. But mm -hmm. Apple TV, can. which is the one that's carrying it, their remote is so difficult to use. Mm. It's like this big. Mm -hmm. I can't use it, so I I'm missing out. <laughs> but I, I'm uh, a 12 and a 14 year old. They can deal with all that. <laughs> 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 Even the five year old, she knows how to get around stuff. I, I read today there's a new remote coming out. For the Apple TV, not made by Apple, but by a third party that makes it easy to use. By the way, I, I don't know if any of you watch 
things like uh, Young Sheldon or Mom or any of the shows uh, that are done by, what's his name, um, producer? Chuck Lorre. Chuck, Chuck Lorre. Lorre, Chuck yeah. Lorre. But he always runs a thing at the end, which are his uh, vanity. The tackle card thing. And you, free, you freeze frame and you read them. Okay. Yeah. And this week he did one where he said about how the things that I'm not going to miss and things like that about what's been going on. And one of them was, and I'm talking to you, Steve Bender, he says, Zoom. Some, <laughs> like nobody should be able to do virtual backgrounds. <laughs> he said, I'm so tired of people you doing virtual backgrounds. You don't like my new stamp? <laughs> you see, you, you, you've got some technical wizardry going on there that, that it, this is, you know, if I asked you to just go to, you know, or is that? What, what are you using to do that? Are you using the virtual? Yeah, this is okay, green screen, right? Yeah, I have a green screen, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, see, he doesn't good. have your, a green Your arm's screen. not missing or anything. Yeah. So everybody, your arms are there. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll, 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 I'll show you what I mean, why it doesn't look good. I mean, I have a good studio. I'm well lit here, right? Yep. So I will now go and I will go to uh, uh, backgrounds and filters and I will put one on that I like a lot. And look. <laughs> oh my God. What the hell? I brought, I brought well, my twin, that's I brought my twin works, brother in. Doesn't it, huh? I've got my twin brother with me now. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, wait, I'll bring in, I'll bring my, my cousin Vinny over here on the other screen. <laughs> <laughs> However, they do right, have the video. Yeah, well, they do have the filters. There, there we go. There you go. <laughs> three cameras. They do have the filters here, so I could do that. And, oh, uh, my God. <laughs> oh. Or this. Uh, let me see here. Here we go. What's that up above? Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's your virtual backgrounds. Uh, but forget it. I don't want any of those things. So anyway, but you know, that's that's uh, the... Uh... Here we go. But anyway, Chuck Lorre said, I wish people wouldn't use those. Music Bill. Who is Music Bill? Oh, well, let's see here. It's always a surprise. Uh, um, there we go. Uh, Music Bill, are you there? What? Speaking of backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, really, that really works well. I'm trying to figure out who that is because I I seem to know the it's, a new, it's a new game show. Guess that guess. <laughs> okay, you can ask twenty questions. Ed, ask the first question. <laughs> Are you human or alien? He looks alien. Yeah, well, Are you animal, vegetable, or mineral? <laughs> well, wait a minute. Okay, okay. do it away with your virtual background. Let's see who it is. I'm going to shrink. Is he going to, or am I going to have to hang up on him? Hey, Music Bill 123, say hello. Huh? Music Bill 123, are you going to give us a, are you going to talk to us? <laughs> On, you, on YouTube, they have these YouTubers and they do these these Zoom bombs, and it's so hilarious. They have like this little baby, and they do like a fishbowl type type video of the baby, and like these old people are doing yoga and exercise, and they they photo bomb them, or they 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 wow. Zoom bomb them. It's so funny. And what's it called? What's it called? I don't know. I get the the name. There's a couple of guys that do it really good. There'll be people and they, they'll be they'll have a video of a guy eating Doritos and it's like so loud and they're doing meditation and stuff. It's so funny. This, this is my photo bomb, Brian. Um, oh, okay. there you go. Now you see, uh, tur uh, turn sideways, Tony. Turn sideways. Well, that's a bomber for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Street. What's up? I'll get rid of Tony. Can you see him? I can see sideways. you put your uh, turn it. You got to turn your camera. Oh, Lance, like that? There you go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, I put you on in spite of the fact that Marjorie doesn't like you on. But... <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I won't turn you first. <laughs> well, she, uh, she finds you annoying. I find you funny and hilarious. Um, 
Okay. He's, he's, he's he apparently is wandering around Queens I, somewhere. I, I'm going to get my mother her pills. So I, I know you have to get him this morning. You get your mother her pills. I figure we roll the dice and not give them to her tonight and see what happens. <laughs> well, I'm, not I'm joking. Nice. I'm joking, yeah. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah. Hey, Alex, did you hear Chris Christie blasted Trump? Yeah. 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 He did. He put the whopper down and finally said some truth. <laughs> About <time laughs> <I guess. laughs> A little truth bomb. Oh, did you see he announced his tre Treasury Secretary? Yes. Who do you mean? Yes, Janet Steve Mnuchin. Mnuchin. No, what, he named Munchkin? That guy Munchkin? <laughs> no, no. No. He's keeping him? I'm going to fire him. <laughs> Guys, Wait a minute. See, she's going to go because you're oh. on, Tony. Oh, I'm going to hang up? Yes. <laughs> I won't take it personally. Around, I lost her. And I, okay. You know, I mean, you oh, good. I'll go for, my ex I'm go for my exercise. It's so nice getting out. I'm walking the freezing little off. I still want to know who Music Bill is. <laughs> I don't know. He's connecting to audio. He's finally connecting to audio. He's connecting That's why. audio. Okay. I, I still say the Attorney General has to be Merrick Garland. Hmm. Oh, really? I, yeah. Well, Sandy Powell's available. She doesn't have a job. And, and he, he got um, Carrie, right? Carrie's going to be leading the climate, the whatever they say in climate, which is yeah. the first time they've ever had that, which is really good. Well, music bill just hung up, so whatever. I think either Mary or Andrew. Or, uh, you were boring. What did you say, Andrew? If, if I was picking, I would pick Merrick Garland or Adam Schiff for Attorney General. That would be nice. Or, or if you really wanted to have fun, put Hillary Clinton in the spot. Give well, the obvious choice, oddly enough, but he won't do it, is Rudy. Is Mario <laughs> Mario Cuomo would be a good, great attorney general. Yeah, but he's the dictator of New York <laughs> yeah. State. So right. why would he do that? <laughs> okay. he's, he's not going to walk away from. He's the up country. for an Emmy for that. He, no, he's How not up for an Emmy. Emmy. He won an Emmy. He won. Oh, I'm gonna, is that true? Yes. Yeah. For what doing his job? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great show. It, it is, is a great yes. show. I it's agree. Great show. Uh, no, he they, they it's, it's kind of like an educational thing or something like that. I don't know. But uh, but he won an Emmy, and everybody's <laughs> making jokes so about it and stuff. But uh, you know, I thought it was the best show I've watched all year. Do you watch him at all, Rick? Never seen it. Mm. Oh, wow. you know what's good about it? Marjorie says it all the time, and I wish you were here to say it now. Um, but she, um, uh, she said he just makes me feel good when it's all over. It's not that he lies to me, and it's not that he says anything comforting. But what's comforting is you're getting the truth. You know. Well, when you have a mayor who's more insane than Mr. Trump. You kind of need a governor who has a little more grounding to him. I watched our mayor today just to see what he was doing lately. And <laughs> it makes me... Pee. Exercising. Yeah, he's just, he, he's ridiculous. You know, he's, he's trying, to begin with, he's trying to out Cuomo Cuomo, and he can't even start, you know. And the thing I was love... Was he at that wedding in Williamsburg the other day? Oh, boy. 7,000 get, get Yeah, that was a shit show, you hear that? Yeah. Uh, we, we um, how do we describe this? Uh, we, uh, as you know, there's a, there are things called super spreader events, and if this was a, a super spreader event, it was the Super Bowl of super <laughs> spreader events. What they did, it was a Jewish Orthodox wedding out in Williams. I think they were sit marred. I think that was their. What did you say? What? I think they were sit mar Jews. Sitmar Jew? They were Satmar hostages. What is a Sitmar Jew? <laughs> Sitmar and Lubavitch. They're two different opposing <laughs> sects of Orthodox. Lubavitch. These were not Lubavitch. These were Satmar. Lubavitch are the other ones. Is it, but these are the Sitmars? Yeah. We'll go over and see the Sitmars, okay? Let's uh, go over there for some, some wedding. It's Mary Sitmar and it's Sadie Sitmar. Anyway, anyway. They, if you saw a picture, there were 7,000 people at this thing. 7,000? 7, 7,000. The governor's <laughs> had an investigation into it saying these people should be arrested for that. 
Yeah. And they were proud about the, they were proud of the way they orchestrated it in secrecy. It was in secret. Uh, it was secret next to a fire station. Well, well <laughs> somebody somebody said this, and it's it was you, Shecky, when I was talking to you yesterday. How do you keep something with seven thousand people a secret? Yeah, parking it and the bird, and and one person it. is going to talk. What? In Williamsburg, which I don't know if I've ever been in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I guess you can pull it off. Maybe, but they didn't. Well, somebody was there. Well, they did. They pulled it off. They just got found out afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And our, our our numbers here in New York are going up, and they're going up because of idiots like those. Yep. You know. Yep. Um, I mean, our governor is really worried about the the future of things here. You know, they, they, like, hmm? yeah, oh, three million people. They've they've. They pushed three million people through security since this weekend, I guess, since Friday or something like that. Three million people through security of the airport so far not in the U.S. In our oh, in U.S. In the airports, US. not yeah. our airport, because our yeah. airport, you get yeah. off the plane, you got a you got a, a, a Q-tip up your nose. You know? Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, and then uh, if you know they can come back now within 15 minutes if you go to one of these urgent care centers 15 minutes. And, pay more, and pay more money for well, it. no my daughter got it today and was free and it was she got the results in 20 minutes but they had to wait online for like four hours to get the okay. test. but but you get it that fast so right. i think they can do them that fast at the airport too you know yeah. uh, and then if you you know or or if you can't oh if you can't present information that you've had a test within the last three days, like some kind of thing. You've got, to, you've got to, you've got to uh, sequester yourself for 14 days. Mm -hmm. Like Shecky last week went to, uh, went to the, his, uh, his, uh, the cardiologist or something. No, the, uh, the car, which one did you go to last? The eye doctor? No, the cardiologist was Friday. <clears throat> last Friday? Was it last yeah. Friday? Oh, okay. Well, uh, we're going to take your temperature. Three days ago. We're going to take your temperature at the door when you come. And they're still they're, they're still saying that forty percent of Americans plan to have Thanksgiving with more than ten people. So we're having two well, people. We're only going to have four people or five. Are we between so all of we'll us? Be okay. Between all of us, there will be uh, four five. people. Four. No, That's only four. Fine. And you know everybody. The, the fifth one decided not to come because she has a job that's important that she test negative. Is that Natalia or the girl who you uh, said got uh, the uh, uh, Teresa Marjorie's other friend? Oh. And no one's coming from out of state, are they? No, no. It's they're coming. Nice. They're coming from across town. That's fine. Yeah, yeah but still. You know, she didn't want to take the chance because her job is at stake. If, if he uh, teaches yoga or something to essential worker, well, to seniors, and uh, oh, God. if she doesn't pass her test, she doesn't She'll get to teach the seniors, and she doesn't yeah. have an income coming in. So she's kind of begged off on that. Well, you know, all these, all these kids coming from colleges all over the country—it's going to be a disaster. Yeah. I mean, we're just yeah. having—we're having friends who are just local right. you know and uh uh i'm sure she he wants me because i'm gonna bring bounty paper towels yeah. oh, really? oh, oh by I'll the way that. we don't need we don't need the toilet paper you sure we don't need the toilet down. paper because i just ordered again from oh Costco you doubled up and they had toilet paper and i got the toilet paper they still didn't have the bounty paper towels oh i like the bounty paper. That's what i need the quicker picker up. I don't. I. I just don't understand what the thing is with toilet paper. You know. Because the. I got to get one plug. I'm not gonna clog the toilet. A story, and then everyone runs by it. That's the only reason. Yeah. We. How about were you going to say something, Brian? Yeah. We. We went to. I went to Costco. We went to Costco like two weeks ago, and then I went to Costco on Saturday morning, right when they opened, just to just a top get snacks for the kids and that stuff. And uh, they had a line the length of the of length of the Costco and it started turning where the cashiers were mm -hmm. around and mm -hmm. they were in line for toilet paper. And I just like oh. Remember those paper? Remember those pictures? Toilet paper. Yeah, because they, they had a pallet there. Get out? They had a guy taking them off and giving one per customer. 
Yeah. Don't, don't you remember back in the 70s and 60s when we the gas hear, lines, we would hear about Russia and the people standing in line for toilet paper and bread and, <laughs> and bread. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, what we did for this, you know, because I'm, I'm concerned about the COVID. We've actually quarantined the turkey for 14 days. <laughs> <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Don't eat it. You're going to give a swab test. We did. We, I've got a mask for it. It's, a, it's an extra, extra foul mask. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is that uh, uh, um, uh, I think that, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't understand the whole toilet paper thing, but because it's on the TV. Show you the, the, we're the problem. You know how there are 36 rolls in a pack from Costco? Yeah. The Kirklands? Uh, we have three full ones in here now. That's paradise right now, just That's in case paradise. the lockdown. <laughs> right. I know. So, so my mother's right. Christmas. It's really Santa can come down the chimney four times, we'll say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, crappy, a crappy thing to do to people. Well, Sh Shecky mentioned something. He said, would you, when I come to visit you with the toilet, with the bounty, paper uh -huh. towels, will you meet me at the car because I need protection in your neighborhood because they might want to steal the bounty paper towels. <laughs> Imagine they first shake them down for it. We don't want your wallet. Just give us the toilet paper. Hey, listen, Shecky. That was me. I was being serious. No, semi-serious, but no, serious. I, I will be. I will come down if you want me to, because or I'll drive around the block and pull in front of the apartment building. We're, you know, when I'm leaving, the, we're kind of here's your, toilet, the, here's your bounty. Yeah. You well, know? the thing is, also Costco paper towels. The bounties are bigger rolls. They're thicker rolls than the ones you would buy at the store. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a lot of ones we bought from the store, but we want our bounty paper towels. <laughs> and just give them up, please. Don't get beat up for paper towels. Yeah, don't get beat up. It just give, just it give them up. They, they try to steal it from you. You know, but I'll but I, I'll no come. joke. I mean, I have no problem going up to Alex's apartment, but I'm in the back of my mind is like I'll be walking down 117th Street and like some guy's gonna come up and <laughs> don't worry, there won't be any bounty paper towel at your at your I know. Yeah. You know, I know that. When, 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 when we had the last the last round of this whole thing, uh, I went to Costco and there was a line to get in, but it was really quick to get in. But uh, there was a hatchback there that nobody was in, but there's a hatchback and you can see the glass and they had toilet paper and the, and the paper towels. And I was all, man, they don't care about laptops anymore. They're gonna bust that window just to get that stuff. <laughs> yeah. And bottle of water. Yeah. Oh. Bottle of water, is that, does that go in fast too? Oh. This goes back a few months at Costco, right? So a guy with like six of those cases of what are they, 36 in a case at Costco or something? Yeah. Well, I keep ordering uh, 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 the uh, Coke No Sugar. Uh, oh, zero. They yeah, have that at Costco. Costco. I like that. Yeah, but I mean, I buy those. Uh, and my latest thing is uh, now, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, what's that sparkling water that uh, Marjorie? LaCroix. LaCroix. No. Fizz or fizz or no. Oh, I forget that. Well, as long as I can get keep get my uh, Brita filters, I'm fine with the water. Because oh, you yeah. you you're just a water guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a water guy. I mean yeah. anything that fizzes, anything that makes. Yeah, but good. in New York City, we have the best water in the world. So why am I buying Poland Springs? You know. I, is it the best water in the world? No. New York is supposed to be good. <laughs> So, is it really, Shecky, or is that just some myth that we, we've been perpetrating for the last four well, years? Well, it's like the toilet paper shortage. You yeah. know, we buy, we buy the um, PR. That's water. Wait a minute. Jeffrey, you're trying to say something? Anybody who grows up in New York, when they're like one years old, they tell them. The, the, world. the best water in the, the world. in the world. Yeah. Uh, also, also, they're the best bagels in the world here. They are the made water. in that water. You're right about that. They don't say that, Alex, right? That we're in rises. Yeah. Well, isn't it the air pressure in New York that makes the best bagels or something like that? No. Um, they, they, there's, a, there's a franchise. I think it was the past mayor who was, who was involved in it. And if you open up this franchise, you have to receive once a month an IBC full of New York water to make the bagels. So that's part of the gimmick of the New York bagel franchise thing. It failed. They're not yeah. Right. Yeah. But I, my, my house. Well, I'm, I'm, 
Francisco, the best sourdough bread, you know. Yeah, yeah I've never been, you know, you can buy sourdough bread out here, but it just- You buy it anywhere now. Does, but it doesn't travel well for some reason. I mean, the sourdough bread you get in San Francisco is oh, unlike good. anything you get anywhere. I mean, you know. Hey, you know, remember Dungeness Crabs? I come out to you because you get Dungeness Crabs in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Now you get them anywhere. Here's what my parents used to do. This was dinner, okay? Stop at Fisherman's Wharf, pick up two uh, uh, Dungeness Crabs, right? And then grab a lo loaf of sourdough French bread oh. with sourdough. Yeah. Tony, you got to mute. T Tony, oh. mute. Okay. Quiet. That's good. I knew a guy that got crabs in a dungeon, but that was a whole different thing. Yeah, I know it's a whole <laughs> different story. <laughs> but you know, you go into Costco and there the dungeon is crabs sitting there now, you know. But, yeah, but they don't travel well. You know, it's kind of like when I would have lived in California, when I was raised in California, we didn't really have lobster. And the reason we oh, didn't have the lobster. The Michigan board certified the, tr the Trump loss. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Just came across. Yeah. And w when's he going to say, okay, I lost? Never. 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 It was stolen from him, right? Yeah. He'll never say that to his dying day. Well, while he, you know, steals money for four more years. Yes, I guess. His only, you know, his only franchise has been being Donald Trump. He, really, his franchise has never been uh, being a good businessman. I bet that's checking. Yeah, yeah it's my phone. Yeah, the phone tells him what, what the phone number is. Uh, wait a yeah, minute. a friend of mine. Uh, we lost Rick for a second there. Lost his picture. Oh, yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna go to Mar-a-Lago. He's gonna say he's still president, and he's gonna have his seventy-one million minions living in an alternative reality. Yeah, yeah. While he tries to avoid all the lawsuits and right every place around the, the country, and his people are gonna militarize because he's being sued and persecuted. Yeah. 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 Did you read? The, did you read the Edward Norton thread? It was very smart. Edward Norton, the actor, wrote a long thread. His father was a federal prosecutor. And he says Trump's doing this simply for leverage to have suits and things dropped against him. And he's going to bargain. I'll concede if you if I'm not subject to these prosecutions. You, you know, once once. But that. But, but New York's not going to do that. No, I don't think they'll do that. <clears throat> they shouldn't. That day is going to pass. OK. Uh, Somebody is now signing in as Jeffrey Tubin. Let's see who this is. I, I, I knew who it was going to be. The minute I saw it there, I said it's not a haircut. No, he did that last week too. You, you were did Jeffrey he? Tubin last week. Oh, I was in it last week. Yeah. Oh, I didn't change my name. Sorry. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> By the Same way, right above, you, Albert. right above you is your old friend Tony. <laughs> well, my. For old friend Tony is somewhere, but I can't find him yet. Where is he? Yeah, I'm walking in the park. Oh, know. he's got a mask on. Oh, yes. hi, Tony. Yeah. Look, yeah. Look, yeah. Look at COVID-19. Nobody cares. Look, they're all playing soccer. No mask. Nobody cares. Where's Cuomo down here? There's no mask on him in the park. Tell them to this come to Florida. They, they can all enjoy that down here. No mask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Music. Wear a fucking mask. Me? Yeah, yell it out, Tony. It's gonna Me. get jumped. <laughs> I haven't seen a good fight in a while. Yell, yell it again. The music bill is back. Music bill <laughs> one, two, three. Where was this kid? <laughs> he never. Tony's gonna get killed. <laughs> uh, I music, can take these music kids. bill. Can you, you hear 51. us? Can you hear us, music bill? No, he can't hear us. So I'm going to remove him. There we go. You are now removed. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't banish him; it just removes him. How you doing, Albert? I'm fine. How's everybody here? Um, uh, uh, everybody here is fine. We're all still alive. None still of us alive. had COVID. That's good. That's good. And uh, and what did I miss? I'm sorry, I came late. I have a now you had a serious headache. Your, your, a member of your family got COVID, right? Yes. Yeah. And and the rest of you didn't. That's correct. 
Uh, and you're still not saying which one that was. It's very mysterious about it. Does it matter? Well, it matters if it was you. If it's not you, I don't give a crap. <laughs> what does it matter? What does it matter? Do you have a migraine or a headache? What's that? Do you have a migraine or a headache? No, a headache. Maybe I have COVID again. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <that's> <laughs> I think you're gonna That's get what me they on that. They complain about, especially after COVID. They complain about the migraines really bad. No, I, yeah. they I, say I just have a headache. That the after effects after COVID are pretty profound as well. Some people are saying that they they're not back to what they were. In fact, I've been feeling so crappy lately that I actually think I had COVID, and these are the after effects. That's just you being you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you had it. <laughs> what are you saying that I'm a hypochondriac? No, you say it. <laughs> <laughs> now, the only the only after effect that is still being suffered by the person who got COVID here is uh, a lack of smell. Mm. Oh, really? That still lingers. Yeah, months after, still no smell. Right. But, but how, how about how about when they were in the throes of it? Did they have any negative things like? Were they sick or did they, were they? Uh, yeah, like a, like a slight flu, a bad cold or a slight flu, that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, the same, the same kind of thing, headache, um, a lot of sneezing, coughing, uh, body aches, and lack of smell. So did you quarantine yourself while this was going on? The house was quarantined. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't get him, damn it. Last, you know, <laughs> class time at 60 Minutes, if you haven't seen it, they're calling these people the long haulers. Yes. And mild symptoms. It was a brilliant story, really showing, I mean, down to autopsies of, of people who passed away, the total damage COVID's doing to whole bodies. It's not a respiratory. It starts in your respiratory system and goes everywhere. Yep. They, they, wow. they throw sliced brains with things that happen to them, and they, I mean, uh, blood clots throughout the body and people that are still debilitated runners that can't run anymore months later hi folks this is our happy monday show <laughs> happy thanksgiving oh, let's talk about rudy kazuti again <laughs> yeah <laughs> rudy, rudy. Wait, uh, i was rudy yeah you see now tony doesn't know from rudy kazuti but you know if he if probably you... sold a comic book starring him <laughs> i wish there was a comic book on rudy giuliani that would sell right oh you're talking about rudy kazuti <laughs> oh i'm on rudy giuliani <laughs> no rudy where is tony going <laughs> i went to, to the pharmacy for my mom then i figured let me get some exercise i'm doing like a mile to walk Oh, good. Yeah, that's good. And you know, he gets paid to do this by the right. city. Yeah, I know. What is that I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a guy who found a real racket. <laughs> it's not a legal racket. <laughs> and the only thing that would come between him and the job is his mother hit fighting the dust. <laughs> don't, don't, Alex, when COVID came out, I said, this is it. No, he's got his mother in a closet somewhere <laughs> mummifying. <laughs> no, <it's not>. Exactly. <laughs> How long can we take him to make her look alive while she looks like she does? It's psycho. It is. By the way, we have left. Charlie McCarthy. Tony, we haven't heard much from, from Edward Berger. Say a few words, Edward, so that we can... How is everyone? <laughs> that voice. It's Tony. I can do some job work in cartoons. I really uh -huh. can with that voice. He has a good voice. Yeah. Jeff, 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 Jeff's trying to talk. Yeah, I think Tony is actually interviewing other mothers. <laughs> just, just in case he falls through. <laughs> How old are you? Do you have any conditions? No. Okay, keep her on the top. Yeah, I'm looks different today. Oh, no, that's my mom. Oh, it, it's going to be a psycho thing. I mean, he's going to stuff her and keep her there so he can keep getting the money. <laughs> I said, Charlie McCarthy. You know, he'll put his hand in. <laughs> he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> okay, okay. You, you need to do some promos for you. What? <laughs> what? You need Edward to do some new promos for Monday pop-up shows. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. By the way, guess who? I, I'll reveal this to you guys, but guess who I have on as a guest on Tuesday? I'm going to run it Tuesday. Ooh. Will Durst. Yay. Oh, okay. Awesome. I mean, he's lying in a bed on his back. 
<laughs> but I, we were talking the other day. I call him every now and then and see how he's doing. And I said, you know, would you ever want to do another one of these little things, you know? And he said, sure. He didn't even think twice. He said, sure. So, awesome. I, so I, then we said, how are we going to do it? And I started recording the FaceTime, which I was doing. But then I recorded the FaceTime for 25 minutes and it didn't record audio. So I said, <laughs> let's try Zoom. So then we tried Zoom. I mean, I was on with him for about two hours. Let's try Zoom. And he called on Zoom and we did 25 minutes with him. So awesome. on Tuesday. Uh, it, it, I think of it, I told him, I said, I'm sending a bill to, to, to Medicare. Because this is GabNet therapy, you know, it really is therapy for him, you know, I mean, I'm sure it's the first time that publicly he's been doing something like this, you know, so it's good, it's good. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's still got problems with the whole right side is out, you know, he says, as he puts it, the tower uh, can't communicate with the uh, rest of the body. So. Did he have a stroke? Yeah, he yeah. had a stroke. Oh, I didn't know that. A year ago. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. A year wow. ago. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't until just recently that he was in good enough shape that we could do this kind of thing with him, you know, yeah. uh, because we used to have him on about every three weeks. And, and now I can probably get him on every week because he, 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 it gives him something to do, you know, it uh, gives him a, a sense of uh, doing stuff. So I, I'm, I'm, I just, it gives him a forum somewhere huh? to talk. Yeah. And it gives it, him a forum. It's, and as I just said, it's therapy, okay? You know, no matter what you call it, it's therapy for him. Well, that was like with Ronnie when she was ill. It was probably therapy that you had her on every week or two. Yeah, uh, I don't know that I would think she needed that as a therapy, however. She had her, her, you know, her blog and she could still do that. You know, she and she was writing for that almost right up to the end, you know. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, but she did your show like three days before she passed, if I remember correctly. She, uh, three days, two days. Two days. Yeah. Passed. Ronnie passed. died. Well, yes. Yeah. I didn't know that either. <laughs> what? What if she? What? Florida, and we don't send you the memos. You, 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 I, I had no idea. When did this happen? Uh, it happened about a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I'm yeah. so sorry to hear that. Well, she she put herself away. She in in uh, in uh, Oregon they have compassionate uh, whatever, uh -huh. so you can take a pill and it euthanasia. Yeah, you you can euthanize yourself. And wow. she woke up one day and was feeling terrible, and she called the doctor, and the doctor said, "We we'll have to get you in here and operate on you." And she went, "Not one more, you know, mm. that's it." Yeah. You know? And she took the pill. <laughs> Uh, by the way, it says here, Michigan State Board of Canvassers votes to certify Michigan. Three to one. Three to one? And the yeah. one was probably that guy that went to the White House, right? No, probably that, that woman who went to the White House and then had Dom Perignon at um, Trump's hotel. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I think well, it was the went to the Trump hotel right after their meeting. Wow. I think this Supposedly was their own dime. Uh -huh. So anyway, I, I'm trying to think. Am I up to date on everything with you, Albert? Uh, yeah, Ronnie died. Wow. And and Will oh, and Trump lost. A year ago. Oh, that, I, yeah, Trump that I heard. <laughs> now, Albert, in case in case they didn't fill you in, I'm I'm still alive. <laughs> Are all the rest of you still alive too, or is this a yeah. video loop? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, let, let's see here. Well, everybody take our pulses. Okay. <laughs> So what are you doing, uh, Albert, for Thanksgiving? It's just going to be the people in the house. Oh, no, actually, my, my, uh, my daughter's here. She came a week ago. Uh, she's been, you know, thinking about coming because we haven't seen her since January. Mm -hmm. And up and down, she's very careful about everything. And I said, anytime you want to come, you just let me know. She got very sentimental and she booked a flight uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I said, I'm not going to tell anybody. We'll surprise everybody. We'll surprise your mother. Well, it's probably and kind of safe for you because of the antibodies, right? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did I get him that time? Nah, Did I get him that time? Nah, no. Nah. <laughs> um, so I picked her up at the airport, and everybody's very surprised. So we'll have uh, we'll have dinner dinner just the, just the four of us. That's nice. Me and me and Linda and and her brother and her, and that'll be it. How, nice is, how is the whole COVID thing down in Florida? I haven't been keeping tabs on it, but I think you passed the 
You, you, it's over. It's over. <laughs> it's totally over. Went away like a miracle. Hit a million cases yet? <laughs> Did you turn the corner? Uh, yeah, no, they, hit, they went over a million cases, if I'm not mistaken. I don't, I don't follow. I don't, I don't follow any of it. It went over a million cases. So did Texas, right, Charlie? As far as I know, only Texas and California have had a million cases. Florida hadn't had the yet. Oh, it hasn't had a million cases yet. I That's because we don't send in the results. <laughs> <laughs> Why bother? Yeah. Why bother? Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. well, a friend of mine is Puerto Rican. Said He lives in Texas. He said, Cornine, or whatever his name is, your senator... He just found a box of ballots in Puerto Rico that weren't counted. <laughs> yeah, but just because it's a box of ballots, let's, let's say it's true. There's a box of ballots. Maybe in that box of ballots, Biden won. Well, it's Puerto Rico, which didn't get much money when they had their their hurricanes from Mr. Trump. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Nobody yeah. in Puerto Rico, like, they don't get to vote for president anyway. So. Well, they didn't get money, but he was that's tossing that's them. Part of it. He was tossing him uh, paper towels. Come yeah, on. Now we're back to bounty paper towels. Yeah, wait, a minute. Wait, a minute. wait a minute. He was tossing paper towels? He finally Don't did something right. He did something <laughs> right. But that's before COVID. That's like three years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. During the, after the, the hurricane. hurricane. By the way, what was he throwing the paper towels for? Just because you know, it was wet and you had to mop things <laughs> up? What? <laughs> he was throwing them out there like they were going to die for it almost. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, boy. Help yeah, well, clean I mean, up their houses. Hmm? The one thing about Florida I know is they are hoarding paper towels and toilet paper again. Well, that I know. It's the same thing here. Yeah. Yeah, here. So in the talking about that too. earlier. That's all I can tell you. And I'll tell you who the big hoarder is. Marjorie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got we got three 36 rolls of uh, of, of uh, Kirkland ass wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a just get an attachment on your shower head, and you can clean your butt like that. You don't need a paper towel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A lot of people are doing that. <laughs> exactly, and also, you know, there's the New York Times. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, You better you better hoard the New York Times because their uh, subscription rate is up over their print. So, the print's starting to lose some, uh, people to buy it. Really? Not be printing in another couple of years. Well, we still get the uh, we get the uh, the digital. Or you get the digital. You can't wipe your ass with that. Well, no, but you can get a digital. <laughs> Is that like a thermometer? <laughs> ass, digital. Yes, yeah, I got it. I got it. Uh, you know, I got it. As, as a guy who's experienced at having a digital, you know, from all the, uh, the prostate cancer that I had, you know. But, oh, I, I canceled my appointment this morning at the cardiologist because it was pouring out. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go anywhere near a doctor's office. Is that your illegal? Yeah, it's getting a little dicey out there. I'm glad that I did away with my operation for my eye because uh, even though the hospital I was going to was the eye and ear infirmary, I, I just didn't feel comfortable. You know, and I, no, to, I got up, showered, I was ready to go, and then it was like, yeah. this is stupid. It's an elective EKG or whatever the hell he was going to do. It's like, hey, nah. Well, I have, yeah, I have a dental appointment tomorrow to finish up my, my uh, uh, what do you call my implant. And uh, I'm taking a lift down and a lift back home. I'm not taking any chances on the bus. Yes, yeah, yeah, but how do you know who was in the lift right before you? I mean, you know. Well, you know, I've got a man's tongue. Uh, yes, Jeffrey. My sister had the same surgery that you mm -hmm. decided not to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He had it the other day, and she's fine. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And I would be fine too. But I didn't, I didn't want to go through it at this point with, uh, with the, you know, what was going on, what's going on out there. So, yeah. Anyway, so she's not, yeah. in any, any, not in any great pain or anything else. Yeah. No, just, you know, over the overnight. Yeah. yeah. She stayed in overnight? No, oh, no. Okay. There's a little bit of pain. From oh, the oh, okay. But you put ice on it and stuff for like yeah. three days. You have to ice. Yeah. Hey, what the hell? We're just talking about old people stuff here. You know, Albert, you know what that's about? Huh? 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 Yeah. Slowly and surely I'm learning. Yeah. Slowly and surely, you know, uh, every day that passes by, you get closer to the day when you become invisible to good looking women. Oh, that's happened a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the hearing aid wasn't on. I couldn't hear the old people stuff. What? What? Huh? Hey, listen, we've run out of time here. Hey, before before we run out, Alex. Yeah. I, I well, there's no such thing. thing as running out. I can go on for the next three hours. It's <laughs> my... Thanksgiving's coming up, and I want to help everyone with their stuffing. Remember to put a cup of popcorn in your turkey before you stuff it. And when you put it in the oven, the cavity is <laughs> back. And when the when the stuffing blows out its ass and the turkey lands on the table, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little uh, cooking hint that we uh, were certainly happy. To okay. What do I do? I have a ha I cook a ham. What do I do with that? <laughs> I'll tell you where you can put your ham. Well, <laughs> what you do is you carve out something in the center and put in uh, popcorn. Yes. And then when it blows, anyway. Hey, listen, this has been terrific. Edward Berger, we hardly heard a word from you, and we love. We, if you talked for the whole hour, we would love it. <laughs> Okay, I will think of something next time. I know that's going to be. You're not doing a voice there, are you? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay. Now, you're going to find out one day he actually sounds like Pavarotti. <laughs> sound, what, 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 old what old time comedian does he sound like with that voice? Like Ed Sparks, maybe? No. No, not Ned Sparks. No. 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 Well, we'll, to think we'll figure it. it out next time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when they recast the voice of Darth Vader, you're in. Okay. <laughs> Andrew Deutsch, thank you so much. Charlie, thank you so much. Jeff Stein, love having you here. Uh, Brian Neary, great. Steve Bender, always wonderful to see you here. Tony, nice to have you here. She, he chased away Marjorie. Nice to have her here. <laughs> Rick, yeah. you know, I love having you here. And of course, Albert. I mean, I guess this is a bunch of people I really just like, you know? And uh, and some of them are good friends. And um, Or after a while became good friends because when Albert and I first met each other, we hated each other, so, you know. People change. People change, yeah, yeah. We became mm -hmm. like an old married couple after a while. Yes. You know? Anyway, hey, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I will give a big wave goodbye, too, to everybody that's listening, and uh, thank you so much. For and happy holidays. Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great holiday. Thank you.